Hi! Our topic is about comprehending how multimedia information and media are formally and informally produced, organized, and disseminated. Let's begin. Here are the things that we should learn by the end of this lesson. Identify the different characteristics that drive multimedia information and media to be formally and informally produced, organized, and disseminated. Describe these characteristics and explain how they promote formal and informal production, organization, and dissemination of multimedia information and media. Multimedia information and media are primarily used as a mode of instruction for effective learning. We can comprehend how these are produced, organized, and disseminated through different ways. One way is through its interesting characteristics. These characteristics drive multimedia information and media production, organization, and dissemination. The first way is through the instructional method. For multimedia information, instructional method is more or less computer-based. It allows an easier way for instructor, instructors to access, organize, and present information, present information to learners. The second way is through the interactivity of multimedia information. Studies around the world prove that there's a better student learning experience because of interactivity, as displayed by retention of content of multimedia information, according to Najjar, 1996. The third way is through the learner's control of learning pace. Learners have different cognitive abilities and respond differently to media. Through multimedia information, a learner can access information and learn in his own time using his own learning style. The fourth and last way to promote multimedia information and media is through its novelty. Novelty is defined as the quality of being new, original, and unusual. This is a characteristic present to multimedia information and media. However, relying fully on the novelty of multimedia may have disadvantages because new innovations always emerge in the multimedia space. So here are the important concepts presented in this lesson. Multimedia information and media are formally and informally produced, organized, and disseminated because of the influence of their different and interesting characteristics. These are the instructional method, interactivity, control of learning pace, and novelty. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.